So I still have people coming around saying that punches on the belt are legal blows. So in the words of Mayweather, Roger Mayweather, most people don't know shit about boxing, right? It's a hyperbolic statement, but I mean, it rings so true on so many different occasions. So give the video a like, guys. Comment, sub. Check out my Patreon. Um, I got to make some videos, exclusive Patreon videos. Just not much has been happening in boxing, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the next uh, interesting fight is, and maybe we'll talk about that. Let me know in the comments if uh, I'm not, if you're thinking of some uh, fight that might be coming up soon that I haven't mentioned here. I'm not that up on things these days. Anyway, this is the WBC convention, the last one, I believe, or maybe two years ago, uh, where they just talk about, you know, scoring boxing. They, they're pretending to retrain judges, you know what I mean, so on and so forth. They just do the, these publicity stunts, so on and so forth. But this is... Uh, this is something that every boxing fan, right, who scores fights and has an opinion or who won this or that fight, this is something that they should all know, right? In order to be able to score a fight in the sport of punching, you have to know what a legal punch is, right? So this graphic here doesn't tell you that but let's just get that out the way scoring blows are blows landed with the knuckles right if you're landing with the palm or the wrist or the backhand those are not scoring blow scoring blows right if you're landing the thumb that's not a scoring blow okay ugas pacquiao great um and the red is the legal scoring area right now is the belt of the trunks included in that no why because that's a foul. Landing on the belt is a foul, right? Can you see the guy's belly button? No, not really, right? The navel's there, right? Trunks are right at the navel, right? Right. So anything above the navel is legal, right? So long as it's in front. And anything below the navel is illegal, right? That includes the belt of the trunks, right? Now, if... It's kind of hard to blame most boxing fans because the commentators have you all hypnotized, a lot of you anyway, and brainwashed, right? They'll completely excuse low blows, all of them. I mean, just look at Andre Ward, Sergey Cavalier, right? He landed like three or four low blows in a row, right? Sergey quit because Jay Prince told him to. And, um, you know, that was a knockout. Why wasn't that a DQ? Sergey, right? beat objectively speaking right beat andre ward by dq in the second fight of course he did anyway yeah the commentators will often excuse low blows or say oh it's on the belt so it's okay no it's not okay they lie to you that's what it's their job right to paint the narrative that isn't always true truth isn't important to the narrative what's important is promoting they're fighter, right? Boxing networks, and that includes the commentators, are promoters. That's that's all that they do, right? Eddie Hearn will come out and tell you that, you know, uh, Eubank Ben is, you know, uh, the third installment of a great trilogy, right? For example, that's just what promoters do. Anyway, um, right? Punches on the shoulders or arms. Are not scoring blows. Now you you will land on the arms, the biceps, the shoulders, right? Because you know it, it's a fight. You can land there too, as so long as it's in front, right? Uh, also, because the fighter will use his arms, uh, shoulders to block punches, right? So it is what it is. But they're not scoring blows. If you land on the shoulder or the arm, right? It's okay. So long as the arm is above the belt, right? But those aren't scoring blows. You don't count them. The red area is the blows that are legal, right? 
and you also have to land the punches in front, right? So when commentators tell you, oh, great punch behind the ear, that's illegal. You can't land, th landing behind the ear, right? It's to the back of the head. Those are very dangerous, illegal blows, right? But commentators will ooh and all ah, about great punches to the back of the head all the time. How many knockouts, quote unquote knockouts, have we seen with punches to the back of the head, slaps to the back of the head even, right? I mean, half of Deontay Wilder's knockouts are, aren't even legit. But he's the biggest puncher in the history of the heavyweight division. Is he? Based on what? Right? Uh, all those punches that Canelo was landing on Smith, right? Busting up his tricep, right? All of those were illegal blows. All those punches that Canelo lands on the hips are illegal blows. Canelo is a very accomplished low blower. He's not an atrocious low blower. Canelo never, that I've seen, goes straight for the dick, right? But he's notorious for landing on the belt and the hips and, and the back, right? And, and your arms, not to the front, but to the back of the arms, right? He's notorious for all these illegal blows. And the WBC loved themselves some Canelo, right? So this is this is just a charade by the WBC, but these are the rules, right? The scoring area is very small. So guys like Shakur Stevenson, right? Um, Errol Spence, right? These notorious low blowers in the sport of boxing today. Uh, not, I guess, not so much Spence because they don't, you know. Yeah, some people call him pound for pound, this and that, but that's just nonsense. That's, that's always been nonsense. But but a guy like Shakur, right? And someone said that uh, on my channel, right? He's considered a pound for pound great master of the sport, right? He has no clue how to open a guy's guard up, right? Legally, no clue how to do it, right? How is, how is he the master of the sport? Right? When half of his punches aren't even legal blows. How is how is he some like super accurate master boxer who half of his punches aren't even legal punches? Master boxer. Anyway, so this is why um a major reason why a lot of you don't don't score fights properly, right? And then you come over here crying, bitching and moaning that no, he didn't win the fight. What are you talking about? Do you have eyes? Blah, blah, blah. You don't know shit about boxing. No, 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 no. You don't know shit about boxing because you score punches on the arms, on the hips. A lot of you score punches on the dick. You score punches on the forearms. You, you score punches that land on the gloves. Of course you do. You have to in order to be able to, to tell me that this or that guy won that, this or that fight clearly. Right? You score punches behind the ear, you score punches on the kidneys, right? You score punches on the on the triceps, you score slaps. You have no idea how to how to score boxing, right? It is what it is, right? Can can somebody, right? Because I, I hear all these people saying that punches on the belt are legal. Can somebody provide some actual evidence for this? I thought so. Thanks for watching.